Hi, I'm Josephine Krause. I've been a wife and am a mother and a grandmother. I've also been a research chemist and for seven years was a public high school science teacher. I have a Master of Arts in Religion as well, and I have no problem weaving all of this together. It is from this background that I speak today. I'm here because I care how the next generation of citizens will be educated. I care what they will make of the world they will inherit. To that end, I want to see them taught responsible science, and I think this includes understanding that evolution Natural selection is the process that brought the world we live in to its present state. I want to urge you, the State Board of Education, to adopt the proposed Teeks report as recommended in December, called draft number two, as it was originally presented without any of the various amendments that have been proposed earlier this month. The amendments seem to me to only weaken the original document, which is a well-ordered outline of the curriculum needs for science, particularly for grades nine through 12, which is where I put my, my attention. I would like to highlight one line from the grade nine through 12 section of the TEKS. One line, however, which is repeated in each of the science areas which it, it addresses, from physical science and biology through engineering. And the line is this, Students should know that some questions are outside the realm of science because they deal with phenomena that are not scientifically tested. Students should know that some questions are outside the realm of science because they deal with phenomena that are not scientifically tested. That sentence is repeated nine times in this document, included in every science area addressed. It seems to me that if all of us paid attention to that statement and took it seriously, we would be okay with, the dis with that discussion being left out of our pub public school science curricula and addressed in other more appropriate places. And we would also be okay with evidence that can be observed and documented being taught in science in our textbooks and in our cl classrooms. I would like to insert here the story of Peter and Rosemary Grant's work with finches, but I think I'm gonna run out of time before I get into that. Uh, it demonstrates in field and laboratory evolution happening here and now in front of their eyes. Evolution is not confined to the study of ancient rocks and is certainly not theoretical speculation. Our children need to be taught about it. Please adopt the Teach Report without amendments. That was good timing. Perfect. <laughs> Any questions? Thank you. Next person.